Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy. As you're building up your Rust community, are you using the voting sites that are available to you? Or maybe even more importantly, do you maybe not even know that these voting sites are out there? Sites like rustservers.gg, rustservers.net, bestservers.com, topgames.net, and tracky server. What these websites do is they allow the members of your community to actually go to their websites and vote for your server, of course, providing you've set up a profile and registered one or more of your servers there. The more and more players that actually vote for your server, the higher and higher you will rank on these lists. They've been around for a really long time. I used to use them back in the day. I've since gotten away from that for my own personal reasons, but there's really no reason why others shouldn't be utilizing these services. And today I want to show you a tool that makes it's super easy to get all of that information across to your players on your servers, which of course then makes it super easy for them to vote for your servers, which of course in turn increases your ranking on these websites, which could potentially bring more players into your server. So the tool that I'm talking about today is EasyVote Pro and it's available from codefling.com, link in the video description down below. Now at the time of the recording of this video, it is actually 20% off and that current sale price is set to last until July 19th, 2024. That's not to say that it won't go on sale again in the future if you're watching this video way further down the road, but definitely don't wait till July 25th to purchase this plugin. I also have a way where one lucky person can actually get EasyVote Pro for free as a gift more details on that a little bit later in the video though. And there really is no organic way to put this information in there, so I'm just gonna spit this out right now. There is also an Easy Vote Lite version, but the development on that plugin has actually halted, so when it stops working, it stops working, it's no longer gonna be fixed. All of the future efforts are gonna be put into EasyVote Pro. So what does EasyVote Pro do? Basically, it keeps track of all of the different voting websites that we are registered on for our Rust server. It takes that information and expresses it to the players when they join the server, and if they choose to vote for the server on one of those sites, that information is readily available within the game. Plus, if you decide to, you can actually reward your players in a multitude of different ways. You can reward them every time they vote or every third time they vote or every 10th time they vote. So there's a lot of different configuration items that we can utilize within EasyVote Pro. But what I wanted to show you first is what it looks like after you have everything set up correctly on your server. So this is essentially what players are gonna see when they join your server after you're all configured. So each one of the sites, and there's six of them, each one of the sites that are available for the player to vote on is gonna show up in chat just like this. And they can simply go to one of those links, cast their vote, and if you have it set up so that they get rewarded for that one vote, they get that reward. Don't worry, we're gonna get into all of that as soon as I show you the configuration file. But another one of the features of the plugin is it will actually give the player a note. By default, you can turn this functionality off. So in this note, we can write whatever we want. We can put the linking sites right in there, or you can do what I did here and create a simple link tree with all of the different voting site links there. And the player can simply grab that link right there, copy it to their clipboard, take it to a web browser, open up the link tree, and then all of my voting sites are available there. So if a player was to copy that link, it would take them to my link tree where they can of course open up each one of these links and vote for my server there. So if you're looking at this and you're saying, eh, I don't really like that it's all spammy and chat like that and I wish there was a much simpler notification system to let a player know that there's voting available. Well, let's go through the configuration file and I'll show you how to do all of those different things. So thankfully, Bippy Meister has made this configuration file very easy to read and all of the different options are very functional and you're gonna wanna have a look at each one of them. So let's just start at the very beginning. So the debug settings, this is a really important tool and it's also worth noting that by default, this is set to true. So as soon as you install this plugin on your server, it's going to be in debug mode. So what debug mode does is it allows you to set everything up. It allows you to make changes, claim rewards, do all of the things without actually having any connection to each one of the individual voting sites. So think of it like it's in dummy mode. And there's two different versions of the debug mode. We've got this debug mode right here, which right now is set to false, but by default is set to true. And then we've got this enable verbose debugging right here. This is set to false by default because it needs some explanation. So if you enable verbose debugging, basically what it does is it gives you control so you can define the status of whatever all of the vote rewards are gonna be at. So have the votes been cast and the rewards not claimed, or have the rewards been cast and the rewards have been claimed, or neither one of those situations are true. So we've got different options here. So zero is not found. So neither one of those circumstances is true. If we change this to one right here, that means that we're pretending that the vote has been cast, but the reward has not been claimed. If we change this to a two, that means that the vote has been cast 
and the reward has been claimed. So you can kind of see the functionality here, and this is strictly just for testing purposes. And you're gonna find this very handy while you're setting this plugin up. This section right here, when it's dealing with Steam 64 IDs, it's been recommended to me that you just don't worry about that. This is really only gonna come into play if you're dealing with Bippymeister directly doing some sort of support with something. So really just leave this section alone. I know I've got my Steam 64 ID and my name in there right now. You don't have to do any of that. Just leave it at whatever it is from default. And I can't remember what that is. And then we've got some really simple global plugin settings. So do we want to keep track of players that are voting for our server? Do we want to wipe the vote count or the reward count on each map wipe? We can change the chat prefix. We can disable the vote command altogether. We can also enable a cooldown for the vote or claim commands. By default, this is actually turned on. So there is a 10 second cooldown period so that you can't spam the command over and over. Now we get into the notification settings and this is where things get fun. This is where things are from the player side of things. This is how we're going to affect what they see. Globally announced in chat when a player votes, yes or no. Enable the please wait command while we're checking the vote status because it will take a couple of seconds in order for the plugin to actually check with the website to see if a vote has been cast or not. So it's nice to just leave the player a note saying, yes, we're checking on this. We're going to get back to you in about a second. Notify the player of available votes or rewards when they stop sleeping. So when they wake up, notify players of rewards every time they connect to the server, yes or no. What do you want it to say in chat when they have votes that are available? So this is the first very important option right here. So you remember when I was showing you in game, it kind of spammed the chat with a whole bunch of different websites and stuff like that, letting your player know of each individual site that is available to cast a vote on. If you don't like that spamminess, and I really don't, we can turn that off right here. So send only one message when slash vote is called. So let's change that to true. And after saving and reloading, we can go back in game and do slash vote. And we can see that it completely changes how that's gonna come across. So instead of spamming the chat with a whole bunch of different links, it only shows you this right here. And because we're still talking about how we're notifying players of available votes, let's talk about the note. So do we wanna give our players a note when they do slash vote or when they first join the server? Simply true or false. We can give our note a title and then we can put in whatever content we want on that note. So as you can see here, we've got vote for us here, which is the title. And this is the content of the note right here. You'll notice that I have a backslash N in there a couple of times. So if you're familiar setting up Rust server descriptions, you'll recognize that backslash N right away. It's basically just a carriage return, which tells the plugin to go to the next line. So you can break up your note into different lines like this, very similar to what you do in your Rust server description. Now the next section is a little bit of a customization factor. So if you're using other plugins that are using notification systems already, you might be familiar with these three different options. Those three options are simple status, which is a standalone plugin, notify, which is also another standalone plugin, or toastify. And these are all just different notification methods in order to announce to your player that there's something that needs to be done. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what these three different options are. Actually, I can only show you two. I'll explain why in a minute. So I'm going to enable Toastify, save and reload my plugin, and I'll go back in game and I'll do slash vote again. And you'll notice something different happened this time. So in the top right hand corner there, you see that notification? That is Toastify. So it's just a really clear and obvious way to get that information across to your player. It's also worth noting that if they had rewards waiting for them, there would also be another message there. And I think it's in red saying, hey, you have rewards, do slash claim in order to get those rewards. So that's Toastify. Let's change this back to false. Let's go to notify and change this one to true. You should only have one of these notification systems on your server because you want it to be the same. And if we go back in game and we do slash vote again, you can see a different type of notification system there. So like I said before, if you're already Already using those notification systems for other plugins, you can just simply turn on that functionality inside of EasyVote Pro configuration file and it'll make use of that same notification system. If you're not using any of these notification systems, of course, you would need to grab them from codefling.com. They are all free plugins. And the more and more popular we make this notification setup, the more plugins might get developed that can utilize this type of notification. Now, the one that I can't show you right now is Simple Status, which is very similar in concept, but instead of it being in the top right, hand corner it's actually right above like right here and it will show up just like these green and orange bars do currently right now so it just feels a little bit more natural a little bit more native to rust but i actually really prefer the toastify version in the top right hand corner so once simple status gets fixed i'm assuming that this is the july 6th update that actually broke simple status and i'm sure the developer is working on a solution right now so hopefully by the time this video is out simple status will actually continue to work i prefer toastify 
check them out. You can try each one for yourself and see which one you prefer. The one thing that I would probably really enjoy about the Simple Status plugin is I get to control within EasyVote Pro the color of the bar if they need to vote, separately from the color of the bar if they have rewards that can be claimed. Just a little bit of a control feature that I think I would probably enjoy if I were using one of these notifiers. After the notification systems, we can decide if we want to actually send a message to our Discord, letting everybody know that somebody has now voted for the server. And this is done with a simple webhook. If you're familiar with Discord, you should be familiar with webhooks. If you're not familiar with webhooks, by default, this line right here is actually instructions on how to set up webhooks. We get to decide if we want to mention everyone in the server that somebody has just voted or just the ones that are actually logged in and taking notifications for that server. Now we get into the reward section. So this is kind of cool. So you've got two different options here. We can either set up a random rewards list or we can set it up so that the rewards are based on how many times they voted. So this at symbol that you see here by default is basically just stands for every. So for every two times a player votes, execute these commands or this top one right here is literally every time they vote execute this command if you want to have it set up so that it only rewards after they've voted six times you would use this down here or if you want to have it set up so that they only get rewarded after they voted three times you could use this one right here and everything in between you can change these up as much as you want and if we have a look at the random rewards you'll see here that i'm just using the give to and then the steam id and then whatever item in game and then their quantity but you can use this for whatever you want you can execute whatever command that you can think of and supply that as a reward so you could do like give kit or add to group or i mean there's like it's unlimited the number of things that you could do as far as rewards go. If there's ever a command that you've ever come across that you think a player might enjoy having, grant them the permission to that command. So instead of rewarding them an item, we're actually rewarding them a permission that will give them access to a specific command. So I'm just thinking like way outside of the box here. Let's say we wanted to set up a base way up in the sky outside of the layer where anybody could ever see it or even ever get to it. And let's say we put a box in there that has 100 C4 and 100 rockets in it or something like that we could use easy vote pro and we could set it up so that after a player voted 30 times it would automatically teleport them to this location inside this base and they would get access to this box so then we're creating this race because there's only one that's going to be available per wipe, right? Because once the box is emptied, of course, the second place player that votes to 30, obviously they're just going to get teleported up there and there's going to be nothing left in the box. So get creative with your rewards. You don't just have to give them items. You can give them commands or you can perform commands on their player. And like literally the sky's the limit here. Like you could do whatever you want. Actually right now, like my, my mind is racing right now with all of the different things that you could do as rewards. There's tons of different options. So like I said, before you can only pick one reward system so it's either going to be from this random list or it's going to be from this list that you've created based on how many times they voted and the last important section of the configuration file is how to get your server ids as well as your api keys from each one of these individual sites so obviously you as the server owner would go to each one of these individual sites starting with gamefinder.net set up an account and then of course set up your server and each one of these profiles is a little bit different from each other so i'm not going to go into each individual website and show you how to get your server ID as well as your API key, but it is pretty obvious. After you have your server set up, you're gonna, you, you'll be able to figure out your way around there. I have faith in that. If not, absolutely worst case scenario, if you can't figure it out, each one of those sites does have support. The very bottom of this configuration file, it literally says do not change. So just ignore it. Pretend like it's not even there. Don't go in there. Don't touch anything. Don't change anything. And that's the end of our configuration file. So let's go over the six different websites that are available to work with EasyVote Pro. No, you don't have to use all of them. You can use any combination of the six that are currently available for EasyVote Pro. The first one is gamesfinder.net. And the reason why I put this one first is because in researching for this video, I was actually able to speak directly with the developer of this website and as a result of that conversation that i had with the developer i learned that he's willing to give away one free month of advertising at the top of this screen so obviously go in set up an account get your server set up and immediately start getting votes for your server on gamesfinder.net once you have that all set up join their discord and head into the giveaways channel hopefully by the time this video goes live they will have a giveaway set up in that channel where you can win one month of free advertising for your server at the top of their website so go to the website set up a profile and link your server go to their discord and get verified in there and then work on getting as many votes as possible you can for your server on gamesfinder.net 
The server that has the most votes at the end of the month of July for 2024 will be awarded one free month of promo at the top of their website. And if you've ever done any research into this of any kind, you will know that this is a very valuable prize. We've also got rustservers.gg, similar in process, set up an account, link your server, start getting votes. There's no giveaway for this site though. Rustservers.net is actually the site that I used to use like 100 years ago when I first got started in hosting Rust servers. Bestservers.com, topgames.net, and trackyserver.com. Like I said before, you don't have to use all of these different sites, but these six that I've listed on this video do currently work with EasyVote Pro. I don't know if there's more that are gonna be added later in the future, but these ones all currently work right now. So we've already done one giveaway for Games Finder, but at the very beginning of this video, I told you there was a way where you could get EasyVote Pro for free directly from Bipimeister himself. And this is a super funny giveaway. This is totally his idea, very creative, and I'm so happy to be able to propose this to you. Basically, once this video goes live, he's gonna be monitoring, checking the comments for the video. The funniest comment or the funniest fact or the most interesting information or whatever, you want to have a comment on this video that grabs Bippy Meister's attention. The absolutely best comment, Bippy Meister is going to reward you with one free version of EasyVote Pro. I damn near fell out of my chair when I read his proposal. I think it's a great idea. I think you all should have a lot of fun with it. Think of the funniest animal facts or the funniest thing you've ever seen while going through a drive through ordering food. Just something funny, make it good, be creative, just make it interesting. All right, that's Easy Vote Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed the information that I have on this video. Again, it is on sale right now until July 19th, 2024. So if you're even remotely considering getting this plugin, now is the time. Don't wait until the sale is over. Every first Friday of the month going forward for the foreseeable future, I'll be doing live Rust server audit. So if you wanna have your server audited, make sure you fill out the form. The link is in the video description down below. And if you randomly get selected for a server audit, you might see your server displayed live on my channel. If you wanna see what that might have looked like in the past check out this video on the left hand side of your screen right now hit that like button for me subscribe down below and if you want to support what i'm doing at rust admin academy hit me up at the patreon in the bottom right hand corner thank you all so much for watching i'll see you next week